Smile and learn. Hey everybody. Today we're going to teach you how to calculate the area of a rectangle, also called the surface area of a rectangle. Let's start by remembering what a rectangle is. A rectangle is a plane figure with four sides that make four right angles. It has two equal parallel sides. That means its opposite sides are equal and parallel. Its area can be measured using different units of measurement, depending on the system we use and its size. For instance, it can be measured in square inches, square feet, or square miles if it's very large. As you can see in this image, the area of the rectangle is the number of square units that the figure has inside it. To calculate the area of a rectangle, we need to know the formula. Area is equal to length times width. You will see that the length is represented by a letter L and the width is represented by a letter W. Let's practice. This rectangle's length is 4 inches and the width is 3 inches. As we said before, to calculate its area, we must multiply the length by the width. That is 4 times 3 equals 12. Great! The area of this rectangle is equal to 12 square inches. That means 12 1 square inch squares fit in this rectangle. Easy, isn't it? Knowing the area of a rectangle is very important. Should we take a look with a real life example? The school principal wants to build a basketball court in the playground. The court has a length of 90 feet and a width of 50 feet. What is the area that she will need to build the basketball court? To find out, we need to calculate the area of the basketball court. And as you can see, it is a rectangle. Remember that we must multiply length times width. Let's see, 90 times 50 equals 4,500. Great, the principal will need 4,500 square feet to build the basketball court. We're going to have so much fun. Take a closer look. If we had the patience to count them all, you would see that there are exactly 4,500 square feet squares on this court's surface. Do you want to try an example? Find a meter stick and calculate the area of the next rectangular object you find. Remember that you only have to multiply the length by the width. See you soon! We've learned so much in just one video. Did you know there are many more videos? Imagine how much you could learn. Subscribe to the Smile and Learn educational channel to learn and have fun at the same time.